Welcome to Earth and Owl. I'm Nikki, and I'm so excited to introduce you all to my dad. This is Mark. He is 62. He is a hard-working farmer, jack of all trades, mechanic, amazing bookkeeper, and uh, he is going to join me today for a rebounding workout. Now, my dad has had quite a year in terms of health obstacles. He's had a heart surgery, right? Heart ablation. Heart ablation, a back surgery, a knee replacement, and a blood clot in his lung. So, needless to say, we are going to be taking this very easy and starting at a very basic level and working our way up. Today, we'll be doing 90 seconds of activity and 30 seconds of rest. Let's go ahead and start with a quick warm up. We're just gonna stand with our feet about hip width distance apart. Start to engage your core a little bit, just drawing navel gently back towards spine. Arms are relaxed, and we're just gonna twist from side to side, taking a couple of deep breaths. Now, you should know that my dad is actually pretty active. He has to do a lot of things that require a lot of strength on the farm, um, but just not as much that is cardiovascular getting your heart rate up. Right. Lots of climbing and I don't know, he's got all kinds of things going on. Yeah. Climbing bins, climbing the combine. Right. Just... So his, right now, after his heart ablation, his resting heart rate is in the 80s. So we're gonna try to keep his heart rate in the 50 to 70% of his max heart rate range today. So we'll be monitoring that a little bit as well. All right, let's do a little side reach over to that direction. And then this side, just kind of stretch your sides here. Other way. And all of the years of working on the farm has probably resulted in some limited mobility. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how do you feel? Ready to do this? I'm good. Okay, go ahead and step up onto your rebounder. We're gonna start with a health bounce. As a reminder for good form, if you've not already watched my six do's and don'ts of trampoline rebounding, be sure to do that. Also, if you have any sort of health conditions, you should always check with your physician before starting this or any workout program. So good form. We've got our feet about hip width distance apart, knees tracking over middle toes, just a little soft bend in your knees. We want our core engaged, navel drawing gently back towards spine basically the whole time. This health bounce is we're just going to allow our body weight to propel us up and down, maybe slightly lifting through your heels. All right, let me start the timer. Here we go, 10 second countdown. I thought you'd like it. It's kind of bluesy, kind of. All right, go ahead and start letting your weight propel you up and down. Little soft bend in the knee. We're 90 seconds on, right here. And you can just go at whatever pace works. Now, you can tell we've got low ceilings in here, so we are not bouncing very high. We're keeping our feet connected to the trampoline. How's that feel? Feels good. Good. Supposed to hold on to the rail. It's up to you. Only if you need it. Uh, that one's just right not the best. It's not bad. It's good to practice. Yeah. Kind of forces you to engage your abdominal muscles. You got it. Yep. So when we do our 30 seconds of rest, it can be an active rest. You can march in place or you can just rest. It's really up to you. We've got about 30 seconds left here. How's that feel on your back? Good. Good. Awesome. So the New York Times just came out with an article talking about the benefits of rebounding for people as they age. It was a pretty great article. Um, especially for improving your balance. It's great fall prevention for when people get older. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are on a 30 second rest. You can just step side to side, you can march, you can do whatever you want. Stay on the trampoline. Yep, stay on the trampoline.
Okay, three, two, one. We're doing a jog in place here. So bend one knee and then the other. Yep, toes connected. Just like you're jogging down the street. We'll check heart rate after this when we get to our rest. Now, if it's more comfortable for you, you can lift your feet. It's really just oh. what what feels better for you. Yeah, I think I'm getting a little more good out of it when I lift my feet. Yeah, okay. And you can try without hanging on too. If oh you... boy. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I can feel it in my knee a little bit. In your knee a bit? Yeah. Not bad though. Well, you can always come back to toes connected. That's a little less impact in your knee yeah. when your feet are a little closer to the trampoline. I can't tell you how many people have said to me, they, you know, they see my videos and they purchase a rebounder and they come back and they say, you made that look way easier <laughs> than what it really is. Okay, we're on a rest. Any kind of rest that you like. Let's see what your heart rate is. 91 minutes ago.
30 seconds left in our workout today. I love water skiing, and you know what other activity is probably my favorite? is roller skating. Oh, yeah. I love roller skating. When I got my knee, I asked them if I could still water ski. Yes. They looked at me a little funny. <laughs> That's a big no there. Well, Probably the falling, like if you fall wrong, I don't know. Probably just go on real smooth water. Yeah. Well, it is quite a workout for your, you know, your knees. Yeah. Okay, we're going to rest here our final 30 seconds. You can step tap, you can do whatever little movement you like. I'm going to turn the music down real quick. We'll just do a brief cool down here. What's your heart rate? Uh, 99. Okay, so not bad. No. We, we, we were probably it. maybe even within, that was probably 20% of your max heart rate. Right. Okay, so on your trampoline here, you can use the handlebar. We're just going to do a little forward fold. So you can use the handlebar to stretch oh. the back of your legs. Oh, my back. Yeah. Is that hurt your back? No, it's just mainly in my hands. Yeah. They are super tight. Super tight hamstrings. Yeah. Take just a few deep breaths. I feel it shaking a little bit. Uh -huh. All right, let's come on back to standing. And just like we did on the floor, we're just gonna do a little twist. Now on my channel, I have a whole bunch of yoga videos. I definitely recommend stretching as part of your rebounding routine. Stretch multiple times a week. Okay, I think we're done. We did it? We did it. All right. Thank you so much for joining me and my dad. I think we'll probably be back for another workout, won't we? Sure. Okay, all right. We'll see you bye next bye. time, everyone.